Okay, as you're continuing to walk down that side trail, we're now facing again to the east, and um, you come across this old building. Now, we've seen this before. We're not really sure what it is, but the roof is caved in. Some trees have fallen on it. The inside is probably gutted, although it's blocked off on all sides um, with plywood. And apparently it may have been storing some sort of explosives way back when, because the uh, whole design of it has very few openings, just this little window at the top and then a door up here in front. And aside from that, it's all a uh, concrete block and very run down and not super old, but old enough, maybe the 30s. So we're thinking this maybe was a, a block house that at one time held uh, explosives for something being done around here, but we don't have that part of the history of Minto Brown area, so we don't know for sure. Now the building's back there, and we're taking a walk down here where Teresa has seen a boat path. Somewhere down this old overgrown trail. A boat path? No, I mean a boat ramp. A dock of some sort. Getting a little thick in here. And yet at one time, there was a trail here. And being a good, uh, see, there's where the trail continues, right over this way. And I believe there may have been a trail down here at one time. I see you discovered mosquitoes. Yes, definitely mosquitoes. And also, the trail is pretty overgrown, but it changes direction, so it's no longer going over Actually, that way. Oh, there is but still more. Way overgrown. Way overgrown. Oh. Yes, that is. Well, there's the boat ramp. I can barely see it, so I'll show it to you guys. Here's one for you. you want to explain why there's a redwood tree here? Hold on, I'm trying to... It's all out of focus. This thing just doesn't focus right. There we go. That's a good shot. Okay, that's the boat ramp. Okay, back once more at the blockhouse from the boat ramp trail to the blockhouse. We are now going to be heading back towards River Road, which is to the south. And here we will once again connect with the path we left at the beginning to try this little side path. So if you park in that first parking space, coming down from River Road down Homestead Road, down about half a mile, you'll find a little loop path that we've just completed off the main paved path that will take you to uh, all the sites you have seen.